Five years after the earthquake, Japan is still recovering. More than 18,000 people were killed in the earthquake and tsunami that followed. The backup power supplies at the Fukushima power plant was destroyed, causing three of its six reactors to fail. It was the most powerful earthquake ever recorded to hit Japan and the fourth most powerful earthquake in the world since modern records begun. The earthquake triggered a powerful tsunami waves that reached heights of up to 40 meters and went as far as 6 miles inland. The tsunami destroyed the backup power supply at Fukushima Daiichi power plant, causing 3 of the 6 reactors to fail. This caused 160, 100,000 people to be evacuated as a result, with little prospect of ever returning. The 9 magnitude earthquake struck off the coast of Japan and was followed by a tsunami shortly after. 11 nuclear reactors at the four nearest power plants were automatically shut down upon sensing ground accelerations, stopping the nuclear fusion and uranium in their cores. The earthquake knocked out electricity at the Fukushima Daiichi plant run by TEPCO. Emergency diesel generators were used to pump water to cool reactors number 1, 2 and 3, which has been operating at the time of the quake. But an hour later, the backup generators were knocked out by the tsunami flooding. TEPCO has built an underground ice wall, but this wall has so far failed to completely prevent groundwater from leaking into the reactor basement and mixing with radioactive coolant water. The ice wall is at a depth of 30 meters. The wall still allows 150 tons of groundwater to seep into the reactor basement every day. Five sections has been kept open deliberately to prevent water inside the reactor basement from rising and flowing out more rapidly. TEPCO hoped to keep the influx of groundwater to about 100 tonnes a day and to completely eliminate all contaminated water on the site by 2020. On the site of the power plant, there are a row upon row of steel tanks that are a reminder of the decommissioning effect. The tanks now hold about 900,000 tonnes of water, a quantity soon expected to reach 1 million tonnes. More than 900 tanks at last count still stand as a reminder of the magnitude of the water contamination problem at the plant, but the highly radioactive water originally stored in those tanks has undergone repeated filtration and processing so that today they only emit a low level of radiation. The government has invested billions into collecting radioactive soil and earth from surrounding areas around the Fukushima Daiichi plant to reduce the level of radiation in them areas. Still, TEPCO is pumping hundreds of tons of water a day to cool the reactors and spent fuel and treating it and storing it in a huge tank that are quickly filling up the vacant land around the power plant. Officials eventually hope to release the treated water containing radioactive hydrogen and terrestrium directly into the ocean. The triple nuclear meltdown has created 70,000 nuclear refugees who will never be able to go home in Fukushima. Following the disaster, health remains are top of the minds of locals. Schools keep an eye on the Gaia counter and teachers regularly check the radiation levels of their food their children are consuming. Since the 2011 disaster, the government has significantly increased its safety regulations surrounding nuclear power plants operations. Among the steps taken are rules to ensure nuclear power must be capable of withstanding a tsunami wave larger than any ever recorded, leading to new seawalls being constructed. Reactors must now have access to two off-site power supplies running on independent circuits and two mobile generators or with a seven-day fuel supply. All buildings must be floodproof with watertight doors. New ventilation systems are also required to prevent buildup of steam and hydrogen gas and a large-scale water cannon must be at the ready. Six years later, the damaged reactor building has been reinforced and more than 1,300 spent fuel assemblies have been safely removed from the storage pool in reactor number four. The ground has been covered with a special coating to prevent grain water from adding to the groundwater. Last September, the Japanese government began lifting the first evacuation orders for towns near the Fukushima Daiichi power plant with plans to do the same for all areas except for the most contaminated by 2017.